my channel if you're new you're welcome if you're returning sabi what if day baby you know the drill i see you fam this is actually was supposed to be my first video of the year but it's been quite hectic and i already put out a vlog so why not it does not matter anyways let us get straight to the video so i mean there's nothing really interesting you guys i just felt like i needed to go through this i needed to take this video i needed to share with you guys um some of the things that i've learned in my 20s and i know you're probably rolling your eyes because i'm still in my 20s but the past few years in my 20s have made a difference so i do want to share with you guys some things that i have been through and just as i grow you know as i age i've obviously come to learn um about life and you know i never stop learning every day is a lesson every day you meet people you go out it's a journey you know but i do want to share these some things that i've learned um so i actually have um pure oral dermatitis um i mean it's, it's getting better now because i'm done with my period but it was quite worse that's not an excuse not to upload but my skin is just acting up I don't know why but we'll do it anyways um so guys that we are cool like discover things that you didn't know about yourself um like entitlement being one of them i didn't know that entitlement was my pet peeve until i moved abroad those that don't know me and are watching this for the first time i'm a south african that moved to america for work and i did not know guys that my video would reach 2.5 million views on tiktok it's crazy i it just blew up and i have so many dms in boxes and you know calls from strangers i'm not one person to gatekeep but i think the approach was very off south africans are so entitled it's so bad you guys it, the people on my dms about you been talk are saying that i'm jealous i don't want to share information and that's not how it works you don't go to people you don't know and dm them and expect them to tell you information just because you're closer someone came to me and said hey i'm closer can you please share because you're closer too and i'm like that is the dumbest thing i've heard that's not how it works i've preached about this on my live on tiktok and i felt the need to share this before i even proceed with the video learn to congratulate people while you wait for your turn i was like you are dumb does i had so many little squeezing in me the oh my god the assumptions on my comment section crazy i'm telling you i just don't get it why people feel the need to know what it is that you're there for just learn to congratulate people i say this and tavi and busi um reached out to me which i'm really grateful for because they were literally like i don't know what opportunity you got in america but tell you what i am so happy for you and i'm proud of you that's what i was taking that's what i'm taking i'm i'm really grateful for people that don't even know my closest friends were so supportive of me ban kapi airport they were just calling me to check up how have you been since you moved there are you okay if you need us we here none of them none of them even you bro and you are out here as a stranger coming at me telling me that hey i saw you moved abroad please help me apply for school who said i'm studying like who said i'm studying you get what i mean like guys you guys need to stop it's not cute it's not nice and i know some people it comes from envy it has nothing to do with wanting to be told information you just you just envy and it's not nice at all can you guys please stop so i have written these um literally when i was still home i wrote these when i was still in south africa when you go at that time so each time i wasn't okay i'd write something that i've learned and these are from different months and different days whatever so i might not be going through these now but i have and i know how it feels to be there just so you're watching this it's not going to be a long video i just i just needed to vent out i'm by myself by the way i have you guys to talk to yeah but i mean it's different um these are things that i've learned in my early 20s the first thing i've learned is you can't you can never fight god's timing guys this i've learned the hard way last year utikot tested me utikot tested me last year guys last year was the not worst year but one of the years where he really tested my patience utikot tested me last year you all, he just literally had to make me wait i had to wait i had no choice but to wait and you know what about the waiting season you don't have a choice but to wait i think even stuff in one of his songs we are sure so 
so yeah man also we're all familiar with the verse um isaiah chapter 60 verse 22 when the time is right i the lord will make it happen so we just don't have a choice but to wait patiently wait for god to you know leave everything in his hands you don't have any choice but to wait and this is me speaking on paperwork i waited so long i would it was just a waiting process it, i was in a wait a longest waiting season longest waiting period of my life and tell you what it was worth it it was worth it and this is just the beginning <laughs> that i will tell you number two don't count your chickens before they hash i did that i don't even know if i'm pronouncing that right but i did that and tell you what i regretted every single part of it guys if you're working on something you want to buy a car or you got a job or whatever audition that you went for whatever it may be that you know for yourself you don't tell people until in fact just don't talk about it especially until you you know you're in that um, space in your life don't tell people you're going to buy a car don't tell people you're going to move in an apartment before you even just don't talk about it wait until if you guys into i got so excited when i went to um when i did the job interview and got accepted i got approved i was so happy being as was behind i was just like oh my gosh i'm going to the united states america period little did i know that there was so much paperwork which took about six months and let me tell you people were literally side eyeing me like they tell you hamba she was supposed to be gone by now what is she doing here she lied da 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 so because abantu guys they also they just don't abana you know we're not trying to have you tell us that you're buying a car and then financially see now we're all side eyeing we're waiting for you to get your car because you said you're buying a car you know what i mean so try not to ever share anything before you wait for approved wait for confirmed wait for congratulations those are the things you need to wait for until guys you don't i will never do that again i swear to god i've learned the hard way people had me by my yay it was so hard and at some point that i felt like seeing certain people would make me want to just put myself in the corner because i had said i was leaving and paperwork is taking thousand years and it got local but you get what i mean so don't ever do that don't put yourself under that much pressure shayla pansy guys shayla pansy do your things like and then later on in life then you can say you know what period i'm gone or i bought my car or whatever the situation may be just wait learn i wrote this specifically after my birthday um, know your place in people's lives for me this one is very important because i'm not this person i'm just saying this for you and i know some people will watch this video and those are the people i was actually referring this to so if you're watching this and you know exactly what i'm talking about you be a better person do better Umdala. guys know your place in people's lives i always say you can never you can you know where you stand in someone's lives you know where you stand in someone's lives don't don't be that person don't do that to yourself you get what i mean i personally last year had a birthday celebration with literally like four friends i think or less than five and those people meant something in my life i needed them to be in my life at that time if you weren't invited don't go if you weren't told don't ask i had people so mad at me coming at me like oh my gosh i can't believe you booked a hotel and called certain people and i wasn't part of it because don't don't be that person. Know where you stand. I don't care how how much you think you're close to someone. Come on. I my my cousin had um told me that she found out that some one of her friends is pregnant and she wants to get her gift. I'm like, did she tell you that she was pregnant or you heard from someone else? But you know, my 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 mind that you don't 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 embarrass yourself like that. If you weren't told if you didn't hear it by the horse's mouth, oh yeah, pee. You get what I'm saying? It's gonna be so weird. It's daylight witchcraft, Uma pregnant and not tell someone, but you see them show up in your house. Like, what are you doing here? You get what I mean? Personally, I'm that person. I don't care how close we were. And if I see something through your statuses and you didn't tell me, that means that I wasn't supposed to know. If you wanted to tell me directly, who's on Landa? so like you just need to know where you stand in people's lives boyfriend be it relationships friendships family family 
always know where you stand in people's lives. Katega offers tande bra zalila ngude. You know, just don't do that to yourself. Okay, so this is something I went through or I, I struggled with for all my life or as much as I can remember, especially in high school. You need to put yourself first. It's so hard for me to do that. Even now I'm working on it, but put yourself first. Even though you turn the bra, leave. Even though you particularly confront people, tell people how it makes you feel, relationship, your worth, just always put yourself first. Don't ever think about how the other person will feel about something that is gonna, you know, be your peace. Just put yourself first. I don't even think I should go any further with this because, I mean, we all know you you, you need to be selfish and gawe at all times. I don't I don't even want to say sometimes be selfish and gawe all the time. Sometimes you just have to think if you, if the other person was in your situation, they wouldn't even think twice with everything. And then there's you trying to compromise your happiness for other people that wouldn't do the same. Put yourself first. Like just friendship relationship just always put yourself first don't ever think because chances are people don't do the same so why are you don't that does hell man just yeah man oh my god this is specifically something i struggled with in high school oh my god i don't know why at some point in time in my life i had to, for the longest time i had to prove myself i had to prove my virginity to people crazy business i tell you i wish i could turn back time and be the woman that i am today i wouldn't do that to myself it's not worth it if you are yelling but don't ex do not explain yourself don't explain yourself you know you don't owe anyone any explanation people don't have to know if you are rumored to be pregnant or whatever the situation may be don't clear those rumors you are you know your truth like don't explain yourself people don't deserve that much um, explanation that much attention from you just don't explain yourself i have had to live that life for the longest time which i do regret i think this is one of the things i have regrets in my life i don't explain yourself i remember i lived it's Akane when i moved it's Akane to sharon park there was rumors that i will moved because i'm pregnant so i was like my man my lady's <laughs> funny business i tell you and whenever people bumped into me they would be like oh my gosh where's your daughter how old is she now i would never like have a shock on my face i would actually laugh about it and be sarcastic and be like oh no she's actually doing so fine she's like three months old now and she's beautiful because you don't fucking owe anyone any explanation you either don't hear the rumor or go with it i don't care bro if you if you have a car and jiggy jiggy i say cool you're not trying to go around explaining yourself to people the only people that need to explain themselves are friends when we and the next thing they are back with the gens and they don't get back to us and say hey friend we good bitch you owe me explanation i was there for you i cried with you i didn't tell you that nigga you know tell me come back to me and sit me down and say hey you're not trying to leave me hanging he's not yours now it's our business on the to begin with those are the only people that have to explain themselves but other than that don't explain yourself i don't care if you're moving like i am i moved to united states no some of the people don't even know why and i'm i'm not willing to even try to to to, to explain why i don't care what you guys think um tinder whatever you think guys it is stick with that like information now personally i know my truth you know i'm not going to explain myself you guys are not worth it if i'm being honest no one is actually worth you going all the way out to explain yourself to them like it's it's crazy business <sighs> comparison is a thief of joy hmm guys don't ever look at someone's life and think i wish this was do not ever you are special there's something about you there's a reason why there is you and only you no one can play the role that you're playing than you are god gave you this life because he knew that you were the only person strong enough to ever handle that life don't look at anyone's life i am going to use someone as a reference <laughs> i don't i'm sorry if you get who i'm trying to talk about but i had a girl back in high school that i looked up to so much she was one of the prettiest girls oh my god you guys, that girl was pretty. She was beautiful. She came from Mikhail Rai, Tibra, Emile, you know. And at some point, I wished, I was like, oh my God, 
I I wish I lived her life like into lo yakhe Brian Nandi mhle you know ungamphani nje life in and looking back now I I I I rebuke those words looking back now all the people I've ever wished to be all the people I've ever wanted to be oh my god I'm not saying I'm any better but I'm grateful that I am myself I'm grateful that God brought me this far because I'm doing mumba bongoko hectic you get what i mean so don't ever look at someone and wish oh my you don't know your journey you don't know where god is going to take you you don't know what other actions people go through you don't know what people have been through don't ever wish to be someone sometimes you really see the beauty of someone's life and you don't know like the behind the scenes you know so don't ever compare yourself and i remember i had a conversation with a friend and i told her how much i wished i could be a certain person and they were like if you knew what happens behind closed doors i don't think you'd be saying those things simply because i was bra your blessing god is going to her blessing god is going to times it 10 times more than what you wish you had gempilo yakhe so don't ever wish to be someone just because you see someone driving a car you i i mean i see people on my tiktok comments with my video moving here um saying i tap into your blessings i don't personally i don't like that phase or prayer and i've seen how you guys take these celebrities and you like cut and paste whatever they said in their prayers and i'm like cringe because personally i would never do that i'll never even say that because you don't really know you don't really know the truth in your relationships up you don't even know how you god is going to make your relationship look you know i appreciate people saying that oh my gosh i'm so proud of you i look up to you but don't wish to be <laughs> you don't you don't know anything you know don't ever compare yourself or your life with anyone's lives like comparison is indeed a thief of joy once you just literally stop thinking about what oh, oh gosh there's no accent i promise there is no accent it's too so <laughs> once you once you are literally 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 once you, <laughs> guys that okay that don't compare yourself with anyone it's not worth it and be grateful man be grateful for who you are you're an amazing person be grateful for what you have and god is taking you places bro god is taking you places it's just a matter of waiting you know don't look at someone and wish you were there if you if you could see the future you wouldn't wish to be anyone you're an amazing person you are beautiful you are blessed you are anointed live your life the way that god um wanted you to live your life you know oh my god i'm going to speak on this one because again these are some of the things that i've learned and i've been through in my life even though this one it's enough i've had enough but it's okay to be single you are still young i always say if you're in a relationship in your 20s and you're happy we are happy for you congratulations but there is nothing wrong with being single and i've been made to feel bad for being single for the longest time whenever i tell people that i'm single all my life they're always like what wait you so pretty how old are you why and why not you know i don't want to waste my 20s with a boy that doesn't even care about me that's going to waste my time and break my heart and you know it's really some dumb ass shit 20s are for me 20s are for um doing better with my life working on myself building myself as a brand which I'm doing right now god is pulling through loving myself more spending time you know by myself 20s are for for growth 20s are for discovering the things you like and the things you don't like 20s are for you 20s are for building your relationship with god i personally i don't see why we shouldn't be single honestly i know that it gets lonely sometimes but i when i actually reflect back to the people i've been with ah bro it's just a bunch of losers that wasted my time you know and i'm so grateful that they didn't take years away from them because the last thing i would need is being someone from 21 to whatever age and i regret because they wasted my time and all these guys 20s are for dating and the definition of dating is going on dates meeting people flirting going like just 
happy trying vanilla and chocolate you know twins for that not sticking around i mean i like i said there's people that are there's people that do find love in the early 20s or very early in life and they're super happy we're happy for them but no guys i feel like relationships limit you i can imagine not leaving south africa back home because oh my god um my boyfriend fuck that middle finger like who are you <laughs> no <laughs> no i know limit myself and not have fun because i have a boyfriend back home are you gonna fly are you gonna come see me are you gonna book me a flight to come see me back home exactly it's giving yes there <laughs> but would you ever leave a man to really care for the a man no like no because you can't get my old hand oh i guess it's giving you that like no period been single literally all my life and it's not getting cute anymore and they are cooler i think i'm ready i mean you can never be ready but i think i'm in a good space i've always made excuses about finances i'm single because financially i am not i am there now i i'm okay now financially i can take care of myself and i'm ready for someone else to take care of me period this one i don't even have to i do not even have to guys don't trust anyone do not trust anyone your mom brother boyfriend sister whoever that person is don't trust them it's okay to give trust but don't fully trust someone betrayal is real don't trust anyone like mm -mm. don't do that it's gonna fuck up your mental health so don't make those bad decisions again 20s are for being young wild and carefree 20s are for yolo make those bad decisions it's okay text your egg drunk text your eggs do whatever it takes girl just make those bad decisions you know when you look back to those days that you did really bad things you laugh about them and they just were fun experiences you know they they really were part fun memories in your life i once upon a time had a friend shout out to kanva i mean i i would like to believe that we're good it's just that you know life happened that's part of just our grew up growing people one thing i will never forget about that girl was the bad decisions we made you know it was the most beautiful thing like you know one of the beautiful friendships to have someone to make bad decisions with without even feeling bad about it she her and i would literally talk about something now and do it all the 10 tinder dates we went to all the other amazing things and risks we took together they made my early 20s fun those are things i look back and laugh about now and i really I don't regret anything i enjoyed every single moment of them i remember one time i was at the salon i think this was like my most favorite one i went to the salon to do my hair i finished very late it was like eight when i was supposed to go back home she called me she's like where are you we're gonna we're gonna come pick you up right now um i'm like okay cool she's like i matched with this guy on tinder he want us to hang out so we're on our way to pick you up to hang out i'm like okay cool why not let me tell you she came she pulled through when i was done with my hair when we got in the car she was like see Mpumalanga. i've never been to Mpumalanga before and for me that was like so crazy i was like wait what she's like yeah i mean yolo why not we went guys i got there blacked out i've never been to Mpumalanga. I don't know these guys she met them on tinder but i still blacked out and we laughed about it the next morning it's that's what makes up your 20s don't be boring be safe but don't be boring so i have lived my 20s the drinking part I've, i think i've drank a lot i have and it's it's gotten to a point one one and they are cool it's gotten to a point where i can't take too much of it anymore and time in my life where i literally have like two three and then that's it for me for the night just doing wild stuff you're young bro just you i know people say i'll figure in your 30s or in your 40s because you never did them i'm not in that age yet i don't know if i wish i could have done them but i will tell you that you don't want to be that adult or just because you never had fun and you never did some fun stuff do that i for one will tell my kids about this experience that's if i don't delete this video they will get to see that their mother went all the way to a different part of the world at the age of whatever 
and had the best time of her life. And I just want them to know that their mother was brave. I, I am brave. I made this decision. I came all the way by myself with no one. I'm telling you. And that's what makes up your 20s. And I remember, guys, it's so beautiful to talk about. I remember when I first moved here, the first ever second day, I went um, to some place. And when I got there, um, it was like one kind of place. And I my child, my phone was off and I needed to communicate or request. So I asked this white lady, I was like, hey, she was at the reception. So I was like, hey, can I please charge my phone? She's like, yeah. So we had a conversation and I told her that... Um, so i i literally just landed i'm from south africa i moved here for work and i'm still young whatever and to hear her tell me that she also moved to italy at the age of 19 by herself and she came back at 24 and she had the best experience of her life and came back watch umdom dala say that for me was like so it was warm it felt it, it felt so nice to hear someone say that take that risk you know it might be a life-changing you know risk just go out there and do whatever makes you happy. You're still young. You will not regret any of this when you're older. And I'd rather not regret anything than regret not doing it. Even with the people I've been with, for sure, I can tell you that. I even told one of the guys, I was like, I'd rather be here knowing that it's not right than ever not trying and seeing where it's going to take me or us, you know? So make bad decisions, bro. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't feel bad about it. And sometimes one of some of those decisions, people don't even have to know. Usamu is a very secretive friend and she's probably done so many things that I for one as a friend don't know and it's okay, you know. To sometimes just make those decisions. People don't have to know. Shaila Pant Make girl. Live your best life. Just live your best life, okay? Again, I think I told you guys that like some of these things I wrote them when I was still back home and when they go asana, you will know where this was taking me. So if you're broke, stay home. With like our South African um, groove culture, you are not gonna go out broke. Just be, to be on the safe side, just stay home. I have went out broke and oh child, it's the ghetto, it's not cute, you're not comfortable. People turn their back on you. You have to go wherever the wind blows. If people decide to change from recharge to Cubana, that's where you're going because you have nothing that life is not cute i literally before i moved here i had stopped doing that to myself because i knew that it's the ghetto and it's not nice the last time i went out with no money and by no money i don't mean empty empty handed but i mean you know money that's not enough for the night i went out i bought drinks with my friend and oh guys tell you what Oh, no ways. Now, you will see, um, in South Africa, because here it's so nice, guys. That's gonna, I'm gonna add this as part of my next video when I do cultural shocks. Here, there's no ice bucket. Where you get to a bar or a club, you buy a drink, a cocktail, whatever that you're drinking, you drink it, and you come back. There is no ice bucket. It's six people and six pack 12 pack pressure being looked at like you're broke there is none of that so which is good because we're all equal but back home you start getting guys approach you because when you pretty drink isn't that the whole night and it's just not cute like as a woman with like that percentage of femicide like increasing every fucking year day week month just stay at home like i was like you are in dobra if it's like i can't just win the way like each homie, mm -mm. I wanna lay home with Auntie Nobani Kazi. Each homie, just stay home, babes. Now I'm Jida. Was a polo ice boy, man, with two yama cooler boxes. Guys, Salan and Lin, man, one gonna marry. Um, okay, guys, that was it from me today. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will try and come up with more content. This was actually supposed to be more time reading and talking, it just doesn't make sense to me. And I'll try and bring up more content. You guys can tell me what kind of content you want to see down below. I have a lot of ideas, but that require me to meet friends first, which I, I really don't have now. But yeah, um, as soon as I do have friends, I'll probably pull up with more content. But I have a trip coming up that I'm so excited for, which probably will be my next video. And just please comment down below. Tell me what kind of content you want to see from me. And yeah. My siblings are so lucky.
yose yangisa na imagine ino sisi onje kha <laughs> peru <Peter> rise <laughs> see you on the other side